Hey guys, Zach King here with a Final Cut Pro tutorial. This is a, a image mask. I've never done a tutorial on image masks, but I want to show you uh, why they're important and how you can use them. I've got a photo here of the governor and I, and uh, yes, the green line says it needs to be rendered, but I'll do that at the very end. So my problem is here. I have this bodyguard standing here, and I don't want him in the picture. Well. You know, if you get this problem, you're probably thinking um, the first thing you could do is come to your motion tab uh, and scale it up, or um, simply crop it. Come to the crop and take away the left there, and then scale it up. You know, and adjust this that way. That's always a possibility. But um, I'm going to show you how to use the image mask and what we can do instead of those options. So undo all this. I'll just pull a new clip in. Uh, and this works with video as well. So I'm selecting my clip, make sure it's highlighted in the timeline. Come up to your effects, video filters, and I'm going to go to mat. And I could hit a four point garbage mat, or I could do an eight point as well. I'm just kind of showing you what the mats do, but uh, come to the motion tab, or, I'm sorry, your filter tab, and you can see over here we have the option to adjust all these points which correspond point one is over here point two is up here and, and so on so if I hit the crosshair button it lets me adjust where I would like my my point and so on and so on now this obviously isn't gonna work um, because it just looks weird I have, don't have a background if I had a background um, that I wanted back here it'd be fine but it's a little too abrupt I want I want something a little smoother so what I'm gonna do is click this and, and delete the filter and I'm gonna come up to make sure this is selected again come up to effects video filters matte and image mask this one right here when I click it it gets really dark and that's because the luminance if I come in my filter my luminance is checked if I hit alpha You can see it goes back to normal, but I'm going to keep it in luminance for now. And this little image mask button, there's a question mark here, and that needs to be filled um, in order for the image mask to work. So it's asking for an image. Come back to your video tab, your video generator, come down to render, gradient. Hit that, and a gradient pops up in your viewer. Pull it down to your timeline for now. Now we're going to actually hit. Um, our motion tab or our filters tab under our clip and put this gradient that we just made into the image mask question so drag that in and you can see it's now in and if we put our playhead over the governator uh, it's actually put the gradient over now what I wanted it is to be darker on this side to to X that guy out so I can change that and if you see I come and edit my gradient Come to my controls and I hit vertical from right to left. It updates here on the gradient, but it doesn't update in my picture because I haven't applied it to the question mark yet. So select your clip, filters, and drag this into your image mask. And now it, it's done the right thing. But I think it looks a little too abrupt. It's too strange, and it's part of the governor is cut out. I can go in and edit the gradient in more detail, but I want a different effect. So in my gradient, click that controls. First of all, I want to uh, change my gradient type to radial center. Hit that. And what that is, if you put your playhead over it, it makes it a kind of a vignette. And I'm going to turn on the Gaussian. And now I'm going to apply that to my governor clip. Select it, filters, and drag this into the image mask. Now, once it's applied, there you go. It's a it's a nice effect. Um, I could change uh, the invert, and that would just put a block over us. So that's what that does. Luminance, you know, just takes it back to normal. You can preview it without it. So I can go in further and adjust this gradient a little bit better. Uh, if I didn't want the the Gaussian, maybe that's too much. But I can also change the color as well. I could say I want it to be green. Okay, 
Well, that's your tutorial on the image mass. It's pretty simple, straightforward. Um, you can uh, have a lot of fun, though, coming down to your video generator and plugging in a bunch of different stuff. You can also um, change your gradients around and see what they do, but that's the basics of the image mask and how it works. I, it's It works well in Final Cut Pro. I like using it in motion as well. Um, you have more uh, freedom in motion. I always say that, like in text, you have more freedom, but you know, Final Cut Pro can still do the job for this, and you can also keyframe it and have it fade into that. Um, we can do that in another tutorial. But uh, subscribe if you like the videos. Also, um, offering live online private training or group training, very inexpensive, on my website, finalcutking.com. Go sign up for that or a free demo class. I'll see you guys later.